Hey friends, and welcome back to Mercenaries 2 Playground of Destruction. I was about to say, do you like my tank? I like my tank. Oh, the physics going over bridges is uh, pretty intense at times. This is one of my favorite vehicles in the game, and I luckily stumbled across it. There we go. Randomly um, engaging a load of allied soldiers. And I thought, well, you naughty little bastards can't have that, can you? So, I have uh, taken it for myself. Now, um, I want to go back to where we were. Because there is something back here that we missed. I did notice it uh, when I was looking back through my video. However, this place has now been taken over by the Chinese and it is now uh, a protected zone. But bugger that. Bugger that for a game of soldiers. I want to have a little look inside. Sorry guys. Nah. Uh, if I leave this here, will this will be here when we get... I don't know. Excuse guys. Out of the way, my dude. Now, yes, I know, life is hard and difficult, and this is a terrible crime. Hey, there's North Korean soldier inside your territory. How did that happen? You weren't even shooting at the chap until I turned up. There's some bullshit involved there, I think. Right, anyway, what we want is just behind here, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, come on, yeah. quick, jump, out, run. Please don't take my tank. If you take my tank, I will not be very happy. Come on. Come on. There we go. Nice. Depleted uranium shells. Oof. We could use those. All right. Let's get back into the Zeus. Okay. Now, it's not the Zeus that we know and love. Not the, the cool one from Desert Strike with the quad barrels. No. Just the dual barrel um, type. But this thing is really fun. Now let's get out of here. Looks like for now we've completed the Chinese missions, which is cool. But there was also something else that I wanted to show you guys. Um, if we go to bounties, it does tell you how many of the extra things that you've found. So there's 100 blueprints, 100 national treasures, uh, 20 monuments, and there are some listening posts. And I think we have to go destroy the monument again. Because we didn't... S we died um, before we saved it. So that's going to be a bugger. Now, if we look on the map, we're not a million miles away from that place. So I'm going to meet you guys right back up there. Oh, and before I go, we've got some information on one of the guys down there between the two dollar signs. So we're going to go... Have some, uh, have a little chat with him in a minute. Catch you guys in a minute. Okay, I kind of lost it for a minute there, but let's take this thing out. That's if these, this thing is powerful enough to do it. You can see it's really inaccurate, which is its one downfall. Accuracy of vehicles is an issue in this game, but oh god, this thing ain't that powerful either, is it? getting a lot of um, T poses here. Come on. Come on. Bring you down. Now, weapons do different types of damage as well. Which is another issue. It's possible that this is doing the wrong type of damage to bring one of these down. Which I'm hoping is not the case. How much damage does this thing even do? Yes, is it doing like anti personnel damage instead of like big baraboon damage? Okay, yeah, we're going. We're off. Oh, fuck. Give me that. Give me that because that will do the right damage. And yes, that's going to upset the Chinese. No, that does not upset the Chinese, which surprises me. There we go. The wise leader is now toast. Um, sadly, so is my vehicle. 
So we're just going to blow up and get the money for it. Right, let's get the frick out of Dodge. Ooh. Yeah, because... Because we completed that mission, they've got some new toys to play with. We now have a Type 80. Uh, yes, please. Let's go. Um, happy with what I have. Now I'm going to get the fuck out of here. So we now have, like, one of the best vehicles in the game. The Type 80. Every faction has, like, their top-end vehicle. This, I believe, is the Chinese's. They might get a T90, maybe, at the end. But, yeah, this thing's nuts. So, we're going to save the game now. We did that. And we are going to go knocking. Knock, knock, knocking on this McEvil dude's door. So, I'll catch you guys when we're down in the area. I don't know if doing all these cuts in this game is good. Do you like it? Would you prefer to see the whole journey? Because sometimes stuff does happen on the way. But this game is very long. <laughs> so this, this is a very experimental let's play for me. Because I've never usually cut stuff out like this. It takes much longer to record. Um, but hey, I'll catch you guys in a minute. Right, we're back in the area now. Little does this guy know that he has like 60 tons of death rolling towards him and his whole little operation. Well, let's just keep rolling for now. I don't know. Ooh. Is that a listening post up there by the allies? I'm not sure. As you can see, it doesn't take long until you start getting some of the top end uh, gear. I can't remember what the Russians really give you. So this is the Allied Mash. Right, what's going on up here? There's lots of jets and things flying around, but sadly we never get any hardware like that. So, look at this listening post. Oh, it just takes like one sniper around. Okay. Good to know, I guess. We do need to go visit the mash, though, because we're pretty banged up. I'm hoping there's some health here. I'm going to say there probably is. There's a bounty or some sort of mission here. Right. Now, medical attention, please. Any kind of medical attention would be appreciated, gentlemen. I bring you a T-80. Not that you guys are probably be very interested in the T-80, of course. You have your Abrams. But, you know. Well, technically, if they're the Allies, they have all sorts of tanks. they got T-80s. they got Challenger 2s. they got everything. But, uh, not seeing any health. I would have thought there's a crate of health here somewhere. Don't make me pay for it, game. I don't like spending my money. You know what they say, a fool and his money are easily parted. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to pay for it. Uh, I do think, actually, if memory serves, I can go into like one of these tents and get healed or something. Or am I thinking of like the second game? I might be. Alright, looks like we're going to have to order in some health. Well, fine. I can show you how the Merchant of Mayhem works. Uh, ammo, health, one. Oh, I guess we could go for. You know what? Let's just grab that. We'll get you. And we will get an explosive resupply as well. What vehicles can we get now? Alright, not bad. Not bad. Oh, that's the H3 delivery. Hot off the assembly line. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it would last long with us uh, in control. Explosive resupply. Uh, what one did we just order? I can't remember. Okay, I'm on my way. All right, buddy. Now, luckily, these things don't take long to arrive. So, if we're gonna go take this guy out, we want some Special good delivery. equipment. You can snipe the pilot out and uh, get yourself a free helicopter. I might take the carbine. Uh, yeah, maybe. We got health. What we like for explosives? 
No, we don't want that. Uh, we've only got two nugs of C4. Yeah, let's top up our explosives as well, because why not? Demolitions. Sure. Let's get rearmed. Might as well make it... Drop zone is not clear. It's a freaking helipad. How could it not be clear? Thank you. That... Okay, I don't know if that's a bug way. or if it's because there's ammo and stuff there. But that Special does crop delivery. up every now and again. Special delivery. Thank you. So what do we get here? Do we just get... Oh. Okay. I guess I guess we had most of that stuff. Never mind. Uh, supply drops are cheap as chips, so it doesn't really matter like that. It's when you start ordering the big vehicles, and the big vehicles start getting fucked up, and you have to start ordering ammo and all that gear. I was going to say, they think we're Chinese. Like, they just saw us get... I mean, come on. That's just being racist now. Honestly. Just because we're Asian doesn't mean we're Chinese. Seriously, guys. That's such a Western thought process. And I need to inform you that I am mortally offended by this. Or something. Right. Oh, God. Right. Out of the way, jackass. Now, how do we get up there? Hmm. We're actually making some solid progress, to be honest. Some really solid progress. I mean, if you look at the guys that we've already got. Deck of 52. Yeah, not bad. We could actually go get a lot more of them if we had a helicopter. Hopefully driving around we will just bump into one. It happens. Right, you're flying around, being useless, when you could be helping us get this guy. And we need... Oh, wait, how do we get this guy? Oh, Yeah, we're going to be better off going back the other way. Unfortunately, the price for all this armor and firepower is she's a slow beast. She really is. But she's sexy. You know? Big is sometimes beautiful. I don't think anybody here can deny that. And this is a prime example of that fact. I mean, sure, maybe she's not as modern as she could be. And uh, she certainly has the chiseled look. You know? And she certainly... Well... She's no dancer. But she has other charms, you know? She's rugged. She's reliable. You're not going to break her easily. And she's loyal. She's always there for you. Always loaded and ready. And that is why you can't be Armoured Firebell. Or something. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. The mind wanders in the autumn years. The autumn years. Ah. Not quite. Right, yeah, okay, so this is better. This is better. Let's go through the jungle. Ooh, North Koreans! Kill them! Kill them all! Now, we could actually get another guy in here if we wanted. Uh, manning the machine gun. Now, I'm tempted to do that. I'm really tempted to do that. I don't know if they will get in. Oh, I was going to say, I don't know if I'll be able to get them in because it's a Chinese vehicle but I'm not 100% sure how it works do they have to be Chinese to get in a Chinese vehicle as long as you're allied with them I don't know but anyway we've got ourselves a gunner Ooh, ho, ho, ho. right let's rock and roll load up I guess these things do respawn well we've made back the money that we lost with the resupply. Okay. Collateral damage. Sorry, dude. Dude, you backed into me. There's no way you can say that was my fault. Whoops. Okay, that was my fault. Let's go. Let's go. Quick, 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 quick. Foot down, foot down, foot down, foot down, foot down, foot down. That might have been me. And you can see our gunner doesn't really last very long, which is sadly... The reality of war, I guess. These gunners never last very long, sadly. 
Although, I don't know, I've had some outliners that have lasted way, be way longer than they should have. But most of the time, they fall pretty quickly. Right, he's up here. Uh, oh, there he is. Is he in a vehicle? Hope oh, not. It's going to make things awkward. Knock, knock. There he is. He's not in a vehicle. Good. Three of clubs. Right. Let's remove his hardware. Right, so disguise has been lost. Let's destroy his vehicles. Okay, what we like armor wise. We're good. We're good. Get out of here. Alright, Expo, you stay away, buddy. You stay away, alright? I'm trying to take this dude. Yeah, there we go. That guy was easy. These guys, <laughs> they will not always be easy. I promise you that. Some of these are going to be hard. I'm going to try and get everyone um, alive, but I'm not going to guarantee it. Right, I don't know where really we can call the chopper in. Yeah, I might have to move the tank. Alright, buddy, you're going to go away for a long ass time. See, all you need to win a battle is superior firepower. Okay. There we go. Alright, Expo 2. Move your ass. I've got a big fat bag of money here. I see your smoke. I'm at the LZ. Good boy. Uh, that does not look safe. Uh, I mean, you're the pilot, so I'm just gonna nod and agree. But I'm, I'm just saying that looks sketch as fuck. Now the AI is not fantastic, as I think you guys have seen by now. But there is another guy locked in our den. <laughs> 25 G's, not bad, not bad. We're slowly creeping towards the million mark. So who was that we put away? We put the three away. So who was he? Kim is little more than a thug, responsible for recruiting most of the bodyguards and strong arm men used by Dung Hwangbo. What the fuck? Operation. Uh, Kim has no formal education or military training. Instead, he relies on his own physical strength and willingness to kill without hesitation anyone who might interfere with his master's plan. Well, he's behind bars now. Uh, personally selected by Ace of Clubs. Uh, yeah, we know that one. A young, re young retired from his post as an artillery officer in former President Kim's army to work for Ace of Clubs, Dung Huambo. Yon was placed in project after project, but ultimately proved incompatible with Division 39 methods. When Song's revolt came, Yon found himself commanding artillery once again. And of course, we've got the Queen. Queen of Clubs, a wealthy and powerful financer. I think we read this one. Han is responsible for smuggling all manner of illegal goods in and out of North Korea for Division 39. Drugs, weapons, biological and chemical agents, and agrees. Biological and chemical agents and ingredients. My god, and I think my grammar is bad. Han controls all commercial <coughs> air traffic and most of the country's shipping. Well, he's in behind bars now. Now, we can go for this guy, too. So, Tao Han An is responsible for building most of General Song's military. I tell you what, these names when you're dyslexic. Oof. Uh, most of General Song's military installations for over a decade and took money from the Allied Nations, America and other nations of goodwill, which was meant for public works projects and use it to build bunkers and missile silos. Oh my. So where is that gentleman? We're looking for... Oh, we've got statistics here as well. Number of bullets fired, 2009. Lel. Oh, I do like it when... We've already killed 240 people. I do like it when uh, you get stats. It's cool. Uh, right. Challenges. Yeah. So we want 
deck of right fifth of clubs agent buford has just sent me a report on tao han an the fifth of clubs apparently he's overseen construction of a military installation north of pongyang his involvement is purely financial so don't expect too much action if you go after him uh right so north of Ponyang. where is Ponyang? oh that's fantastic it doesn't actually tell you unless it does i'm just being stupid north of Ponyang. where's Ponyang here this whole place is Ponyang. So up here, somewhere, I guess. Right, well, let's go on an adventure. Let's take our tank for a drive. I'm actually tempted to ditch the tank, to be 100% honest with you. As cool as it is, it's so slow. It really is slow. So I'm going to catch up with you guys uh, a little bit later on when I can actually. I wonder, should we be silly before we... Uh, go. Let's see if we can go this way. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling this is going to be a terrible, awful, silly idea? Yeah, let's try and avoid the rocks. Oh, have I been playing too much Zelda Breath of the Wild? Possibly, possibly. Um, let's save. Yeah, seems like a good idea to save the game first. Oh my. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Although we're not moving. Oh, we're moving. We're moving. Oh god, who would have thought a tank would stick to the terrain so well? Um, can we have some forward motion, please? Ooh. Okay, I don't even know what physics are anymore. Right, let's back her up slowly and gently. Come on. Come on, Jennifer. There we go. This is probably faster. Okay, I don't know how physics work. I'm not a physicist, but that worked. That worked pretty bloody well, actually. Shockingly well. Right, okay. Roll on. I'll catch you guys in a minute. And on my jolly little drive, guys... Uh, I have just found another number card. So, when in Rome, or don't look a gift horse in the mouth or some such, let's go have a little look at this gentleman, shall we? We don't even know what gentleman this is. Um, where? Oh. Oh. We do know that, though. Let's have that. Oh, Chinese fuel truck delivery. Well, I mean, oh, shit. I can't, oh. I can't imagine that being over. Oh, there he is. Holy fuck. Okay, uh. I was wondering if he was going to be up. Right. Oh, God. Right, you're coming with me, son. If Jen would actually, you know, knock him out, that would be fantastic. Jen, hold. She is standing on a big pile of med kits, so hopefully that's going to help. Right, let's get you down. Clear the area. Um, dude, seriously. No, he doesn't care. He actually does not care. See what I mean by the AI in this game? It's, well, it's something. Right, what was he up to then? Selling supplies? Maybe. Right, let's go take our friend here for a walk, shall we? Come on, buddy. Well, that was easy. Walk in, shoot everyone, grab the dude, and walk out. Easy money. Oh, I can practically hear this bag of cash rattling as we move. Lovely, really. Beautiful, in a way. All right, that's cool for extraction. There's helicopters around here, which we kind of need to be a little bit careful about. All right, cool for extraction. There we go. Roger, this is Expo 10 now, who's that? Eight of clubs. <laughs> They're just driving past us. Like, ah, we don't need the eight of clubs. These aren't worth our, not worth our time. 
the yeah, MC. if you could pop down, sir. Whoa, Jesus Christ! See him come down like a fucking meteor. There we go. I am under heavy enemy fire. Yeah, I can see that. Don't die, please. Please don't die. Although this is a golden opportunity. A golden opportunity. If we can cherry pick the pilot out. Which you would think is quite hard, but actually not really. Like that. We'd be in good shape. Okay, cool. It's a shame. I would have preferred to have taken him alive. So who was that guy that we just... Uh, you know what, with all these assault rifles here, let's grab one. Grab an AK. Okay, cool. Not bad. Um, there's a helicopter sniffing about. We will have a look at who that was in a minute. Hey, dude. Come down and play. Please? Please? Uh, you seriously, man? Fuck off. I'm not interested in you. I want your helicopter friend. Oh, God. There he is. Dude, come here, please. Come here. Come here. A little bit, little bit closer. A little bit closer to the ground, please. Come on. Do me a solid, my man. Do me a solid. Ah, really? Dude, I'm trying to steal a helicopter. Why is that so hard for you morons to understand? Ah, anyone would think this is rocket science or something. Alright, come here. Ow. 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 Really? Really? I, I could taste it. Ouch! Stop running me. You know what? You are pissing me off. Okay? You've shown your dedication to the cause. And you, you're annoying me too. Come on. Let me, let me just, let me have a go. Just a go. That's all I want. You know, fine. Be like that then. I'm disappointed in you. Not angry. I'm just disappointed. Okay. We're actually almost out of time now, sadly. Oh, there's another helicopter coming. You know... I do like the helicopter. Oh, yes. I remember that tactic. You fire a rocket. And it does push them down. Are you going to... Come and have a look. Because we could really use a helicopter for the start of the next episode. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're just going to be a dick, aren't you? Yeah, you're going to be a dick. Yeah, see? Your controls do work. You're just being a dick buffer. Being all superior in your helicopter. I'll sort you then. Don't really have the ammo to keep playing around. Look how many helicopters there are. It's a really good place to nab one if you can. And we're almost out of ammo, but we can get some more help. Uh, yink. Okay, we will drop a save because I can't remember if we saved it. We're almost out of time anyway. So, whilst we're out of time, who's the guy that we just got? Number eight. So, Yong Suk Park, or Yong Suk Park. Uh -huh. You could say he sucked at his job. <laughs> yes, anyway. Park is Huang's director of transportation. He supervises the movement of all Division 39's officers, ensuring both that they arrive safely and that no one outside the upper echelons of Division 39 know where any of the other members of the organization are. Okay, well, you failed. Oh, all these helicopters, man. Just give me one, please. Oh, you're nice and close to the ground. Hey, uh, sir. I say, sir. Come and have a little look, please. Come closer to the ground. You silly bugger. I've just used all of my bullets on you. Oh, 
Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes, 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 yes. Haha. <laughs> Your ass is grass, brother. Oh, guys, what a wonderful feeling. All right, let's get rid of you. Are there any goodies on the roof? Actually, looks like there is. Oh, 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 you sneaky little bastard. Excuse me. No. No, 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 no. You go down. You go down and you die. Right. Let me just remember the controls here. Is that... Oh, no, it's a piece of wreckage. I thought that might be some goodies. There's a lot of wreckage here. Let that be a lesson to the rest of you schmucks. There we go. Let's get rid of you. You're done. Now, the art of helicopter combat in this is to stay above your enemy. Stay above your enemy and you will survive. Right, okay, cool. North Ponyang. There is another statue of our glorious leader. Let's see if we can do something about that. Oh dear. Let's see if we can do something about that. We've only got two anti-tank missiles. Now, the anti-tank missiles actually do a considerable amount of damage. But, there's only two of them. So, when in doubt, get the C4 out. That really is the way it is around here. Um, how much C4 do we have? A one. Oh, that's a beacon. No. A two. This is for science, guys. Okay, did not want to set that off, but fine. Hey, it worked, okay? It worked. That's all that matters. Hey, dude. You having a little look around? Your inability to keep your countrymen's... Ah, oh, he landed on dude. That's disappointing. Right, okay, so now we have a helicopter. We can... Scout, north of Ponyang. Okay, well, apparently he's overlooking some buildings somewhere or something. It did say that, didn't it? There's Ponyang, okay. Let's go find this guy, and then in the start of the next video, we can have his ass. Ah, there he is. Right. And with that, guys, I'm going to end the video. When we come back, well, I guess we're going to stuff this bag of money into the helicopter. So, till then, guys, thanks for watching.